Yo, what's up, warriors and weirdos? Today I'm reacting to Aurora Morda song 54321. I've listened to this one, before. I've seen one of our, yeah, and that one's one of the first few songs I listened from Aurora. And you guys know that one. If you haven't seen this, you gotta check it out. Uh, 54321, but this one is from Paste Studios, not Copy Studios, just Paste Studios, and not Toot. New York, from New York, New York City. Let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> This is the same lady that goes with her, like, for um, performances, I'm guessing. instrument are they playing because i can't seem to understand the way it's moving you know Okay, okay, so it's just the guitar making the sound. Okay, that's impressive. But is it like drumming? Like, I can hear like a bit of that. And also, he's one is on the harmony as well. That's so cool. No, it's, it's not. Sense of sense of fashion would forever baffle me. You know what I'm saying? Like she just she she wears what she wants. She doesn't go with the societal like standards of how a celebrity should appear on a on a show and stuff. She just does what she wants. That's one of my favorite um um what do you call it? The favorite thing about her. Okay, just that it. But was this one before Run Away? Was it before Run Away got viral? Because to be honest, I would say I got to know Aurora through Run Away. Is it Run Away? Run Away. When it went viral on TikTok with the challenge, where you like, you know, that was when I, I knew Aurora. So was this one before that or after? I think it's. This is before. Because run away is definitely like 2020 when like we're still recovering from corona they said we could go out so i remember doing the trend yeah yeah i think so no it's gonna be 2021 it's 2021 run away is 2021 <laughs> This is like the peak point for me in more the song. Like this is like the peak point for me. Let me get that again. This song literally sends shivers down my spine, like, 
I mean this in the not the best way possible. But it just sent she was down my spine, you know. Then when I watched the lyrics to the song, bro, I was bamboozled, I was baffled. song for me would always be one of my maybe top five definitely because i've listened to a lot of horror you guys know that but this one is definitely like it was i think this was one of the few songs i cried to listening to from aurora you know and i've cried like way too many because if i feel emotional listening to her sing her song like even if you're singing like when she sang when she covered the imagine dragon song that i'm not supposed to like feel emotional like i'm supposed to believe you know i see for emotional one way i think it's just about our voice you know so guys, that's Aurora Moore, this on 54321 from the Page Studio, New York, New York City. And yeah, to see you next time, guys. Peace out.